A public memorial is being planned for some time in the future. According to the family of Dr. Fernando Guerra, he is the former director of Metro Health. Jesse Degollado brings us a remembrance of the devoted doctor and the public servant. The large extended family who had surrounded Dr. Fernando Guerra is now grieving his loss. It brings tears, it brings laughter, and it's almost like a seesaw, but it's a beautiful time for memories of my dear Fernando. The doctor in Vietnam who also treated villagers when he wasn't attending to the wounded. The villagers, he delivered babies, he treated people who had plague and other illnesses that you wouldn't even usually see here in the United States. An experience, she says, which led to his dual careers as a pediatrician and in public health. His legacy is going to live on and on, and we're just so proud of what he did, what he accomplished. In service to the community at large, that is a life well lived. As an example, former San Antonio Mayor Henry Cisneros says many of the half a million people who flocked to Pope John Paul's mass site posed a serious health challenge. The infirm, the frail, the disabled, to be in the Pope's presence in the heat. Cisneros says Dr. Guerra's advice helped in planning the needed precautions. And much like he'd examined his own grandson, Dr. Guerra had to tell Cisneros his newborn son had a serious heart problem. This is very painful, but this child cannot live. But after corrective surgeries in his youth, John Paul Cisneros now has a career in finance in New York City, one of the many lives touched by her husband of 39 years. Something that one could only dream about having. It's very, very special. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.